I'm Federico Rojo, I'm pathologist at Fundación Jiménez Díaz, University Hospital in Madrid, and I'm in charge of the program of biomarkers in my institution. Today we have enjoyed uh, a meeting with experts in different fields uh, concerning the predictive value of PDL1 in different indications. So uh, it was an opportunity for discussing, for sharing uh, our experiences in different tumor types about the role of PDL1 uh, for prediction of the benefit of immunotherapy uh, in different indications. This is a, a real challenge in our clinical, clinical practice uh, to evolve this biomarker in different contexts with different scoring methods with different methodologies to provide the best uh, information for clinical decisions. In my speech I talk about the role of PDL1 in triple negative breast cancer. There is a new indication, a new approval of uh, immunotherapy in, in this context context of metastatic breast cancer, metastatic uh, triple negative breast cancer, and the challenge to implement a different methodology for scoring PDL1 in this uh, tumor type, completely different to our previous experience, uh, for example, in lung cancer. This is a unique opportunity uh, for certain experiences and, and uh, learning methods about uh, PDL1 in different tumor types. It's an uh, open discussion, pan tumor PDL1 uh, experience across uh, different uh, indications. And it's important in the context of the laboratories for implementation of, of the different uh, scoring systems and different antibodies uh, for selecting patients to be treated with immunotherapy. 